uh, I should not be touching that. Who knows where that wall has been. I'm heading towards Old Town, a part of Stockholm that's been used even before the city was founded, back in 1252. Nasty, nasty spider webs. If I see a spider, I'm gonna freak out and probably drop the camera. And apparently I'm a moron, because this road is closed off. I need to find another way. This way is much cooler anyway. Now I get to show you Parliament. Pretty cool gates into the Parliament. And the guard is eyeing me suspiciously. I think it's around here that the Greta Thunberg sat and had her first protest against the environment. No, actually for the environment. Behind me is the royal castle. Should we wave to the king? Nah, he's probably not there. He's doing uh, other stuff like uh, hunting or cutting ribbons or doing kingly things. I have not done anything, I promise. You can see these derpy looking lions all over the pedestrian streets in Stockholm. Old Town is a prime place to find ridiculous things of all kinds. Hey, what are those? They look pretty neat. Christmas decorations in the middle of summer, maybe a ship or some ugly Vikings. Everything you want you can find here. This is one of the entrances to the royal palace and right next to it you can find the royal armory. There's a lot of cool stuff there. But it's closed like everything today. Pretty awesome view here next to the castle. And pretty windy as well. Also next to the castle is the Stockholm Cathedral, also called the St. Nikolai Church and the Storkyrkan, the big church. It's not the prettiest church you've ever seen, but it's very old, from the 1200s. I don't know exactly what this is, but I think it's a public toilet. I don't want to go inside. People say that Swedish people are beautiful, but uh, this is how we look like when we get older. We have arrived at Stortorget, the big square. It's not really that big, but it's the oldest square in all of Stockholm. You can find some pretty cool stuff here, like the Nobel Museum behind me. And this is also where King Christian II, the Danish king, had a Stockholm bloodbath. In 1520, he rounded up a hundred Swedish nobles and executed them right here in the square. Bloody Danes. Oh look, a wooden horse museum. Free entrance as well. Actually, it's just a store. Don't be fooled. Old Town is not just a tourist trap, by the way. Along the twisting alleys, you can find antiques and art galleries and weird collectible stores for all kinds of things. Like this one, for example, a store full of old maps. Lovely stuff. A statue of St. George slaying a dragon. I could take that dragon. Look at those awesome vines. The only thing grown on my house is mold. Filming in Old Town is really forgiving. You can stand almost anywhere in this good shot. Look at this. This tavern is called Den Gyllene Freden, the Golden Peace. And it's about 300 years old. So when the US was founded, people have been sitting here and drinking and eating for 50 years. People used to buy and sell iron on this square. So guess what it's called? The Iron Square. Very imaginative. At the Iron Square you can find this old bakery from 1785. Everything is old here. I think the seagull is thirsty. Should we help him? Ugh, you can't pull it. Ah, typical. Wanna see the narrowest alley in all of Stockholm? Have a look at this. It's pretty narrow, isn't it? I think it's about 90 centimeters, give or take. Ugh. I should not be touching that. Who knows where that wall has been. I'm not sure what it is, but there's something telling me that this bar is open to queer people. There's some subtle sign telling me that. Fancy some fried herring? I don't. Neither do them, apparently. Oh, lucky, there's a phone booth. I need to make a phone call. <gasps> the phone is gone. Oh, typical. There's a lot of old medieval tunnels and vaults underneath Old Town. Let's see if I can find one. This looks promising. And I'm talking about the vault, not the beer. It's pretty cool to imagine that hundreds of years ago, people also sat here, got drunk and made YouTube videos. Such a gorgeous medieval fresco. Actually, it just says toilet. Such a cool place, but it's closed off. 
I need to get back here someday. This is the oldest house still remaining in Old Town. It was built in the 1400s and have a look at these windows. This is how it used to look in the olden medieval days. Behind me is the house of nobility and I read on Wikipedia that some people claim that this is the most beautiful house in Stockholm. Well, tastes are like a rear ends, right? Personally, I much prefer that church in that case. Look at it, it's just gorgeous. Even though it has like a plastic band-aid at the front. Well, that was a quick look at the views of Old Town. I hoped you enjoyed it. For more strange and wonderful vlogs, don't forget to like and subscribe. But most importantly, have a great day.